Hello Leo and welcome to your reading for July 2021. So we're going to tap in with the energy and see what's coming in around you for this powerful month ahead and July is a month of forward motion, shifts and change. So we're going to bring in the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot and any other cards they guide me to for this reading to tap in with your general energy and anything happening in love or in your twin flame journey. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So thank you angels. What's going on please with Leo in July? What do we need to know please angels for Leo in July? So I'm going to split the deck, I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread and I'm taking out any cards I feel are jumping as like a powerful energy there. So the card coming out is, wow, two of wands. So this is going to be a month where you decide what to do. You decide what path to take. You have a vision of the future. You realise things, you come to terms with things. You realise your power and you take action towards what you desire and what you want. So you're at this crossroads energy. And this isn't just in love. You know, if your person needs to kind of step up and make a decision to be with you or to move this forward. This is about all areas of your life. Things you may have been thinking about changing for a while. Things you may have a vision about. And on your vision board, maybe there's a house there or a job or something personal you want to bring in. And the angels are saying to you, all is possible with God. When God closes a door, he always opens a window. So I feel this is going to be a very powerful month of opportunities for you because you are visualizing what you want. And when you go there in the mind, you go there in the body. When you think it's up here, you hold it here. And the angels are showing this to you. So have that vision and have unwavering faith too. You know, have a vision, the end result, what you desire, and then trust the universe to bring it in. So the number two may be a big one for you this month. You may see 222, 22, 22, or 222. Big sign of universal power to trust the journey, to trust that the universe has your back. And you're being guided what to do, where to go, what to say. You're being given all the answers. So this is a big sign about continuing the supporters all around you. Don't give up on what you want because it is possible for you. And that's the message coming through. So we're going to put down the cards then. So let's see what is happening then in July for you. Let's see what powerful guidance is flowing in. Because I already feel this is going to be a powerful one for you. Especially because... You know, July is also connected with your birth month, you know, because we go into your energy, you know, your Leo energy, your power and the Lion's Gate portal as we move into July. So we've got here death. So big sign of transformation. And this is exactly what I'm feeling, you know, that these changes are coming in to grow you. They're working for you, not against you. So changes coming in for you in July, deciding what to do. The end of one life for a new one to begin. So there may be job changes, relationship changes, you know, things changing for you to move you forward. Transformation, being reborn in spiritual truth, understanding where you want to go, what you want to do and how you're going to make it happen. Guidance, feeling reborn too in your physical body. So if there's any physical changes you want to make, you, this is the right time to make them, you know, releasing things that don't serve you. It could be something that, you know, you eat or you drink or something you're addicted to that you want to change or a behavior. Gratitude is the way forward. So I feel that using gratitude will also open doors and it will make the way for you because you've been shown with the Knight of Pentacles that all is possible. That anything you want will happen with determination and strength, with that unwavering faith and that vision. What you want is being made possible for you. Everything is flowing in. You know, you want, may feel you're on the battlefield, like you're struggling, but you're being given what you need to succeed, to be successful, to thrive, to be victorious, to continue. In other words, you are wearing the armor of God. You are protected. There's nothing to fear as you go through these transformation changes and this transition. We've also got the page of cups. So, you know, you may be asking about love. You know, is my person going to move towards me this month? 
Is it going to happen? Well, your person is definitely changing and being transformed right now to be able to be what you want them to be or to step up and behave the way you want them to behave. You know, especially if they've been very immature in the past or they haven't opened their heart to you in the past. You have a vision now of what you want. So don't worry about how it's going to happen or even if it's going to happen, just know it will. And the universe will bring everything for you, towards you at the right time. And it's showing you here, he wants to open up. This person wants to express themselves to you. And it will happen in time. But there is also a transformation going on. So you're being reminded to be patient. And if you feel things are stuck, or they're not happening right now, things are happening behind the scenes. And this card is always a reminder to go within, to trust your intuition over the things you physically see or even physically hear because things can try and trick you but your inner self knows you your faith knows with faith all things are possible and when you trust in your own intuition you trust the way you feel and what resonates with you and your journey then there's no room for this stuck energy because you know things are shifting and happening behind the scenes so you may feel things are stuck because a decision needs to come in or you need to decide what to do or what steps to take but you are being guided and things are starting to change and again there's that 2-2 two, two energy and there it is look at this 2-2-2 two, two, two. so I feel that's going to be your number for July and that's the number reminding you to relax to breathe to find balance in all situations to not run before you can walk or try and force things to happen instead to go with the flow because the universe is on this and working for you not against you to bring in what you want to build a better future so everything is building this month things are happening the foundation is being set so trust the process of your life and understand that any restrictions or delays are happening for a reason and there's only restrictions in the mind when we put limits on ourselves, or other people do. Saying you can't have that or you can't do that or you can't be that or that isn't meant for you. You know your truth and you know that with God all things are possible. The word impossible means I'm possible. So start to believe. Know yourself. Trust yourself. Trust the way you feel. And that will allow you to move out of fear. So you're taking back your power. So I see the justice card here as you taking back your power in July. You moving things forward by realising your truth and taking back the reins of your life, standing up for what you believe in, being strong, speaking your truth. And that will help you to release anything not meant for you, anything karmic that needs to go because that's the decision you are making. What path do I take? What's next for me? The angel's guiding you what to do so you can release those karmic binds or those karmic situations, things that don't seem right for you anymore because you're making a decision to rule them out. You're ruling this kind of energy where you are ruling your life. So you're becoming the star of your own show, the master of your ship. And this is also a big sign about anything legal being sorted out too. You know, anything that may have been stuck or stagnant. So, you know, if you're waiting on divorce papers or you're waiting for a contract to be signed or you're waiting for some news of some kind, you're going to have fair rulings this month. Things are going to happen. We've also got the Eight of Cups. So big sign about leaving things behind, making that decision. So if your person is with someone else, big sign about a karmic ending here, change, you know, things that will be stamped out. Think about um you know, in court when you've got the big hammer, you know, you, you put the hammer down and that's the final say. So the final say is coming in. It's like you're saying, okay, I know what's right for me. I now have a vision of what I want and I know I can have that. So you're prepared now to walk away from anything not serving you, anything dragging you down, anything not meant for you because you are powerful and strong. So the outcome here is the Empress. And this is about you nurturing you, doing what's right for you, following your truth. 
being in your divine feminine power, knowing your worth, knowing that you are valuable, that you are strong, and that when you nurture your dreams, your dreams come true. When you have that vision and you nurture that vision with unwavering faith, what you want will come true. And the Knight of Pentacles is showing that to you. So maybe that's what you're fearing. You know, will I have what I want? Will my dream come true? Will I be successful? Will I move into union? Will my person move towards me? And the angel's saying yes because of who you are, because of your divine feminine power. So know your truth and trust the journey, especially as we move into August, because that's when your power will come in. So you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it in July. You're going to be taking back your power in July and knowing your truth, knowing your worth, working on self. So self-love is the key to everything, the key to moving things forward. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy being you. Enjoy being able to express who you are and you'll feel better. They're giving me fear. So when you're enjoying being you, you'll feel better and you'll feel calmer. So you'll release any fear. You'll release any anxiety about the unknown, about where you're going, because you are now steering your ship and the angels are guiding you. So you're being shown what to do. You're being shown where to go. You're receiving solutions and you're feeling much calmer about things because you are letting go. So you're just going with the flow in July, trusting the journey, trusting that things are making more sense, becoming more grounded, more focused, more powerful, realizing who you are, realizing your truth. And if you're dealing with um, an, an earth sign, they're giving me air too. So again, you know, the sign's out the window here. But if you're dealing with a twin flame connection, your twin is becoming more focused and more settled in the connection with you. So it feels like what he's doing here is he's sorting himself out financially to be able to give you that future. And you're doing this too. So you're going to be feeling more stable within yourself, more kind of relaxed during this month than ever before, especially the later part of the month. Because even if things feel a bit unbalanced or up in the air as we start July, as the month goes on and as you move into your birth time, Okay, when you move into Leo energy, this is where you're going to take back your power and things are going to start making sense because you are the magician. And this is what I'm feeling. So it's beautiful that cards come out at the end and this is the beginning because, you know, you are the powerhouse of your journey. You are the magician of your journey and you have the power to change your life. So this is the time now to change your life, to go for what you want, to have that vision and that unwavering faith. So I'm going to bring in a message through music for you. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for Leo for July? The universe creates miracles. Wow. And this is what you're doing because you're trusting in the universe with that 222 energy. The universe and you create miracles. Your hearts collided and nothing will ever be the same for either of you. So this is a big, same, big sign for twin flames that you are the same, that you want the same things and that you are going to come back together because your hearts have collided. And I feel this is also about all the things you want is, is coming to you because what you're seeking is seeking you. You can't run, deny or hide from this love. So if they've previously denied their feelings, you know, they, they can't run from it and neither can you. If you're single, this is a big sign that someone's going to come into your life and blow your mind. You know, two hearts are going to collide. Something magical is going to come in. This is a message from the universe that it's working behind the scenes to sort things out to bring you together in the physical world. So whatever you're asking for right now, whatever that vision is, whether that's about your twin flame journey, about bringing in love, about manifesting your dream career or something connected with work or home, whatever it is, there's a miracle coming in. And the angels are showing this to you now. So you're going to see the number two in whatever way, shape or form that comes to you. You may see spiders as a sign of universal power, but you're definitely going to see bees. And bees are the sign of a miracle, a miracle in communication and a miracle in your life, what you're dreaming about coming true, because you are the magician of your life, the creator of your reality. And it all starts with you. So have that vision as you move into July of what you desire and have unwavering faith. 
and trust that the universe is on it. The universe has got your back and is bringing everything in. And that you are the empress and you have that power to make things happen by being you. Focusing on self-love, releasing what needs to go and trusting the journey of your life. Because magic is happening and it's all flowing in now. I hope that helps. Have a great month. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.